a creature that can come back from the dead or punch faster than a speeding bullet. And there is even one so transparent you can literally see its heart beating inside. This is not some sci-fi movie. This is real. It is happening right here on our planet, in dark forests, deep beneath icy oceans, or in the middle of scorching deserts, there are living creatures with shapes and behaviors so bizarre even science has to stop and take a second look. These are nature's living anomalies, the unexpected results of millions of years of evolution taking a very strange turn. And today, you are going to witness them all. So let's get started. First desert rats that build fortresses out of cacti. In the Sonoran Desert of the United States, Pack rats have evolved a remarkable survival strategy. They build their nests out of dry chola cactus branches, a plant covered in sharp hooked spines that are almost impossible to remove once they stick to skin. These spines form a natural barrier that keeps out venomous snakes, owls, and other predators. The nests are usually multi-layered. The outer layer is made of these sharp materials for protection, while the inside contains an insulated chamber that helps the rats survive the extreme temperature swings between day and night in the desert. Besides fending off predators, the cactus materials help maintain humidity and keep the nest's internal microclimate stable. Over time, these nests can last for decades, gradually collecting dry feces and other waste forming what scientists call a midden, a kind of biological record that holds information about ancient environments and past climates. That means the pack rat is not only a desert survivor, but also an accidental research assistant for modern science. Second Mountain Goats Climbing Dams for Salt High up in the mountains of northern Italy, Alpine, Ibex goats have stunned scientists by casually scaling the nearly vertical walls of hydroelectric dams. And no, they are not running from predators. They are after something far more vital mineral salts and calcium that seep from the concrete surface. In the nutrient-poor Alpine environment, getting minerals from cement is a brilliantly clever survival tactic. Calcium does not just build strong bones, it also supports muscle contractions and the transmission of nerve signals. These goats have split hooves with sharp edges and soft rubbery pads, which allow them to grip even the tiniest cracks on nearly 90 degree surfaces. But such heights come with serious risks, especially for young goats who can fall or become easy targets for golden eagles that take advantage of the steep terrain. Third spectacled bears that build nests in trees. Spectacled bears, or Tremarctos ornatus, are the only bear species native to South America. They mainly live in cloud forests and the Andes Mountains. Unlike the typical image of bears living on the ground, these bears have a unique survival habit building their own tree beds by bending branches and layering leaves high above the ground. They pick sturdy branches and use their body weight to bend them, then weave them into a flat platform. On top of that, they add leaves to make a cozy resting place. This treetop nest helps them stay cool during the day, avoid insects, and keep out of reach of predators. Plus, being above ground allows the bear to scan the area more easily and save energy when moving through the steep terrain. This nesting behavior shows how adaptable spectacled bears are to the high-altitude tropics, where food is scattered, temperatures fluctuate wildly, and survival is no easy task. They are one of the few animals that know how to build a better resting place to improve their lives. Fourth, the glass frog. This creature looks like something out of a fantasy. Its belly is completely transparent. You can see its beating heart, liver lungs, and even a network of tiny blood vessels. But this is not just for show. It is a top tier survival strategy. When the glass frog hides under rainforest leaves in Central and South America, its see-through skin blurs the line between body and background. Predators looking from below have a hard time spotting it. In a world where even a shadow can mean death not casting a shadow at all is a huge tactical win. These frogs usually come out to hunt at night, when the forest is pitch black and thick with moisture. That is the perfect time to disappear from the radar of anything trying to eat them. Fifth scorpions glowing under the moonlight. In the quiet darkness of the desert night, a creature silently moves across the ground and then suddenly lights up with a ghostly glow as if moonlight itself is clinging to its body. That creature is a scorpion. And while most people only think of them for their venom, these animals hide a surprising biological secret. They glow under ultraviolet light. When they are exposed to ultraviolet light, their entire body begins to glow with a bright blue-green color, almost like a floating flame in the darkness. 
Scientists believe this happens because of a layer in their outer shell that is rich in proteins which reacts with shortwave ultraviolet light to create a glowing effect known as fluorescence. Although no one has confirmed the exact reason why they glow, some theories suggest it could be a way for them to communicate with each other during the night, a warning signal when they feel threatened, or even a method to help them navigate through complete darkness. There is also a theory that the glow helps protect them by filtering out harmful ultraviolet rays from the sun. Whatever the reason, one thing is clear, the scorpion is not just a silent predator of the night, it is also a glowing example of nature's strange and elegant designs. Sixth, the bizarre deer pig Babarusa, found on the island of Sulawesi in Indonesia, the Babarusa is easily one of the weirdest looking animals on earth. The males have tusks that grow upward through the top of their snout curling backward like twisted horns. But the strangest part, these tusks are not used for fighting the way people think. In fact, male Babirusas usually stand on their hind legs and box each other using their front legs. More like deer than pigs. The tusks serve mainly as a display to intimidate rivals, not as weapons. This odd evolutionary trait allows them to keep a safe distance from each other during confrontations avoiding physical injury, a strange but very effective survival strategy in the wild. 7th. The Mantis Shrimp Even though it is only about 4 to 6 inches long, which is around 10 to 15 centimeters, the Mantis Shrimp is one of the most skilled fighters in the entire ocean. Its front claws are not just hunting tools, they are true biological weapons. When it strikes, the shrimp throws a punch at over 50 miles per hour or about 80 kilometers per hour. That is fast enough to boil the water around it for a split second and create shockwaves strong enough to shatter the shells of the hardest crustaceans, even crack aquarium glass. But the Mantis Shrimp is not just about brute force. It also has some of the most extraordinary eyes in the animal kingdom, often described as biological telescopes. While humans have three types of color receptor cells in their eyes, the mantis shrimp has 12. That means it can see ultraviolet light and polarized light, giving it the ability to detect shapes, movement, and color with a level of detail that far surpasses most other animals. It is a hunter with both devastating power and unmatched vision. Eighth, the zombie ant. Deep beneath the layers of rotting leaves in the rainforest, a strange life form completes its cycle, not by hunting, but by hijacking a host. The fungus, Ophiocordyceps unilateralis, infects Campanotus ants, invading their bodies and eventually taking over their entire nervous system. Once it gains control, the ant begins to behave in bizarre ways. It leaves its colony and climbs to elevated spots like the underside of leaves where the humidity, light, and microbial conditions are ideal for the fungus to grow. At that point, the ant bites down hard into the leaf's vein, not because it wants to, but because its brain has been completely taken over. After the ant dies, its body becomes a launch pad for a long fungal stalk that bursts out from its head almost like a biological antenna. When the fungus matures, it rains down thousands of spores onto the forest floor, starting the cycle all over again. This process is not just a clever method of reproduction. It is a chilling and astonishing example of how nature can completely rewrite the rules of life. A living autonomous insect becomes nothing more than a vessel, a transmission device for another species acting against its own nature. Ninth, the frog that gives birth through its back. The Suriname toad, known as Pipa Pipa, has one of the most bizarre reproductive strategies on Earth. Instead of laying eggs in water like most frogs, the female has them implanted directly into the skin of her back. After mating, her skin thickens and wraps around each individual egg, forming honeycomb-like pockets. Inside these pockets, the eggs develop in complete isolation from the outside environment. This protects them from fungus parasites and predators, creating a naturally secure nursery. When the time comes, the baby frogs break through the skin and crawl out from their mother's back to begin life on their own. Strange as it looks, this adaptation is perfectly suited to keep the young safe in the wet and predator-filled rainforest environment. Tenth, the killer, larvae. The parasitic tachinid fly is a master at turning death into life. Instead of laying eggs in the open like most insects, it injects them directly into a living caterpillar. Once the eggs hatch, the larvae slowly feed on the caterpillar's internal organs. 
Carefully enough that the host keeps living unaware, it is being eaten from within. When fully grown, the larvae burst out of the host's body, ending a cold, ruthless, and incredibly efficient reproductive cycle. This is nature at its most unsettling. One creature survives by gradually destroying another. As horrifying as it is, it also shows just how powerful and effective evolution can be. 11th, the turtle that freezes and comes back to life. The northern painted turtle or Chrysomys picta found in Canada is one of the few animals that can survive being frozen. In winter, young turtles hibernate under mud or leaf litter. As temperatures drop, the water inside their bodies freezes, their hearts stop, and brain activity nearly shuts down. But their cells produce a special antifreeze protein that prevents ice crystals from damaging soft tissue. When spring arrives, their bodies thaw, their hearts begin beating, and life picks up where it left off. 12th, the bird that builds for love. Known scientifically as Ptilinor hynchidae, the bowerbird is one of the rare species that uses creativity as a survival tool. Instead of singing or fighting, the male builds elaborate structures from sticks, flowers, stones, seashells, even bits of human trash. What is amazing is how carefully he arranges everything by color and shape, like a tiny artist curating an art exhibit. The more visually striking the bower, the higher his chances of attracting a mate. It shows that beauty is not just emotion, it is also an evolved and intelligent strategy for reproduction. The natural world is full of wonders. Often the smallest, strangest creatures hold the most incredible survival secrets, one science is still trying to understand. If you found this world as amazing as we do and believe there is so much more to discover, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to join us on our next adventure.